Hello and welcome. My name is Luke and I'm an application engineer at ACD. Today we'll be touring how to use and set up the Siemens Dynamics G120 Smart Access Module. This module is compatible with CU230 P-2 and CU240 E-2 control units as well as G120C and G120X drive systems. Setting up the Siemens Dynamics G120 Smart Access Module is really easy. First, take the Smart Access Module and then just insert it to the front of your control unit like this. It'll snap into place. With the drive powered up, then take your mobile device. You can use mobile device, laptop, or iPad. You'll go to your Settings app and connect to the G120 Smart Access Wi-Fi hotspot. Once connected, go to your internet browser on your mobile device and enter the following, 192.168.1.1 in the URL box. And then you will see the G120 Smart Access module load, and you'll see a six tile layout. Note, if this is the first time you're setting up the Smart Access module, you will have to enter the default password and change the password to something new then go back into your settings and reconnect using the new password. Once connected, you will find a six tile layout. This is your Smart Access Module homepage. Scrolling across the top section is your drive connection status indication and control unit model that you are connected to. The box below that is your fault and alarm indicator. Then we have six tiles to choose from. We can perform a quick setup to commission the connected drive, edit parameters, jog the motor or run it in hand mode, Monitor a few key live motor characteristics. View the diagnostic menu, including I.O. status, or backup and restore programs to your drive control units. Finally, at the bottom of the page is information for contacting SEMA support, smart access module settings, and drive control unit and power module information, such as part numbers and firmware versions. So let's set up the drive using the G120 smart access. Since we're connected, first we're going to go to quick setup. Once there, it's going to ask us if we'd like to reset the factory settings. We're going to say yes. So it's going to reset this drive to the factory settings. Next, we're going to enter some motor information. Then we're going to select our I.O. configuration. And then finally, we're going to set up our minimum speed, our maximum speed, and our ramp times. Now it's going to ask us whether we'd like to complete quick setup or go to the jog page. Since we haven't yet set up the identification for the motor, uh, we're going to do that here. Once at the jog screen, we're going to switch to hand mode. Then we're going to take control of the drive. I'm going to send a run command uh, from my mobile device to the drive. It's now performing the identification of the motor. This only occurs the first time the drive is set up. Now that the motor identification has been complete, we're going to turn the run command off and then turn it back on. I'm now controlling the motor and the speed of the motor using my mobile device using the G120 Smart Access module. I can use this to check my system and make sure the motor is rotating the correct direction. I can also reverse the motor if I'd like. As you can see, there are many features and benefits of using the Siemens Dynamics G120 Smart Access Module. It can be used by engineers, technicians, and even service and maintenance personnel. 
It is very easy to set up and very powerful tool to use for the Synamix drives. We hope you enjoyed learning about the G120 Smart Access module, and we hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.